wake up though i literally just put these patches on and i literally was doing lashes before this <coughs> i forgot to record like a little peep of it um so we're starting the video like this um but today i'm gonna be doing a spend the day with me you guys didn't miss anything at all literally all i did was lashes um and yeah but i actually have some plans today i have one more lash client coming in a couple minutes and then I have to get ready. Um, but yeah, I got a pimple overnight, so I popped it, and then now I got this thing on. And I've also been thinking, and I low-key really want to get back into makeup again. So I'm gonna do my makeup today to test it out, cause I think I low-key also want to go into Ulta and look at some makeups. Um, all I really need is just a really good concealer and a setting spray. Um, I think that's literally like all I really need. Um, I used to like be into doing my eyebrows, but like I hate doing them. If I could find a smudge free um, eyebrow thing, then I would use it. But I'm trying to change my eyebrow shape and I want them more pointy and more raised up like a Barbie doll, like a rat. Yeah. I really need to be trying to figure out what I'm going to wear because as soon as I get done with her lashes, um, I have to hurry up and pick out an outfit and stuff. And I was going to chill on my phone because I low-key already still have editing to do. Um, so I was just going to chill and edit, but I couldn't forget like the part of the video. Um, anyways... I'll tune in when I'm doing lashes, and then when I'm done doing lashes, I'm most likely going to start getting ready. Also, I took a shower literally last night, so I'm not going to take one this morning just because I'm going out, but when I come back from going out, I am going to take a shower. I just finished lashes, and it doesn't really look like my pimple poppers have anything really on it, but anyways, I need to figure out what I'm going to wear. I can't make this choice okay y'all so i just did my edges i just need to put one more ear earring these fake ones i keep putting in my earring can literally keep coming out this is exactly why i'm happy that they're fake because these other two aren't but since i have them so small they never like stick yeah i'm trying to let my edges dry and then i'm gonna like you know put that back down but now we're about to go on time lapse y'all because i'm about to do my makeup and I'm literally only doing my makeup because um, I just want to take pics today. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be hot, but oh well. And this is the outfit I put on, y'all. It's this green shirt, which I literally think I wore this for the first day of my senior year. And then I have these blue jeans. Okay, I'm getting thick. <laughs> A black purse with some type of black sandals. Or I can still wear them black shoes and give off some. Because I feel like I always wear sandals too. And those shoes I have are super cute. Um, but yeah, I low-key need to pluck my eyebrows. But I lost my tweezers. So this is why I'm going shopping today, y'all. So I can buy me some stuff. Whoa, whoa, yeah. Look at me dead in my eyes. I know that you know that I ain't lying. Too much respect. All of my shorty BDs, they know not to try too much respect. I used to hand out CDs before they would buy. Whoa, she love me so much, it seems like she vibes. Don't know how I live, but that's cause they live at the high. Hey. Full step stepping up to the spot. Okay, guys. Okay, period. Yo, I'm about to start doing my eyebrows. Like, because that's what I've been. I think that's what I've been fucking up on this whole time, not doing that. Anyways, I found like my perfect concealer i only use that and i usually always add a light one in it because i think i'm tripping and i feel like it been too dark but i think it like actually did what it was supposed to do this time okay so okay actually this is that's so weird the name of this is called deep chestnut and it fits me so perfectly 
and I got a little bronzer, a little blush. All I'm missing is my highlighter. And I'm gonna bring this with me just in case I start to sweat. But yeah, literally in love with the brows. Um, but yeah, this is also another reason why I need to find me a setting spray. So you can't see my pores. Um, if I had a setting spray, I feel like it would be 10 times. Yeah, but I feel like it's gonna dry on me and I hope it doesn't because that's what happened the last time for my birthday makeup but i'm just hoping it's because i was in a rush and that's why it fucked up the way it did um but yeah y'all i'm about to put on some lip gloss and head out here i need to switch purses and stuff too but before i leave i'm gonna show you guys my outfit okay guys i put this sweater on because i stay cold so this is how it looks but i think i'm gonna take pics without the sweater i'm just hoping that the outfit is giving in the pictures or i'm not posting these hoes but since my makeup looks so good if anything i'll post the top half but i got my bag and stuff packed so i'm about to leave i think i'm gonna go to the car wash because my car really needs to get washed um but at the same time i could just wait because um we're trying to hurry actually no because the car wash closed at a certain time but yeah, I'll tune in, but y'all, per y'all see the makeup, I think I'm definitely going to start getting back into makeup again, because this is too cute. Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to stick to what I said, because my car really needs cleaned. So, I'm going to go to the car wash, and then I'm going to also use that time to clean the inside of my car. So, per, because... And that's how you know it's getting back out hot in Texas, y'all. My cute little sticker thing just came off. Okay, guys. So, as you guys can see, I'm at the car wash. Getting my car clean. Very much needed. I feel like my car hasn't been washed in about a month or three weeks for sure. And I usually try and wash my car every two weeks. Also, what the heck is this? Like, don't play with me. Um, but yeah. After this, I don't know, I'm mostly thinking about going to the nail store. But it's a really far drive. But I have nails tomorrow and I really need nail files. There was something else that I need, but I need nail files. But like, I mean, I could easily go to Sally's and get those as well, low key, because I do need some some pink gloves. So yeah, I might just go to Sally, but because uh, yeah, there's really no need for me to drive all the way out there just for some nail files, to be honest. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm gonna go after this. I think I'm gonna still go to like Burlington. Burlington had some good stuff, and then I'm, I think I'm going to go to San Marcos, and um, I also want a Starbucks, so I might go to Starbucks after this, go to Target, get nail files and the gloves, and then I think I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby, um, and yeah, we'll see where else from there. I cleaned out my car, um, I'm not even about to show you guys. I need to show you guys anything. I cleaned out my car after I got it washed. My makeup kind of got messed up from me patting it too much. But anyways, I'm at Starbucks. Guys, so I just got Starbucks and now I'm on my way to um, Sally's because I need to buy me some more gloves for nails. And I also ran out of nail files. So, um, probably just gonna buy a bunch of nail files from there as well. Y'all, tell me why this woman was backing out and she was not paying attention. And she, when I tell you, she was literally like so close to hitting me. Would have been on her. 
here. I would have got me a 23. I already got a 22, but I'm literally going to be in here for a couple minutes. And then tell me, tell me why she had the nerve to look at me funny like she wasn't the one who backed out. And even if she did hit me, it would have been on her because she should have been double checking when she backed out. Okay, guys. So I just came from Sally's. They only had small pink gloves, but I don't care. It's better than nothing. Plus, my next set isn't going to be this long anyway. And then I bought me five nail files, and it says they're washable, so I'm hoping that when I wash it, it still looks brand new until I can go back to my hour drive nail um, place, which I'll probably do the next day on my last day, but right now... I'm about to go to, I mean, I at first I'm to go to quarter to 10, but there's literally nothing I need there. So I guess I'm just going to go to Hobby Lobby and look around. And then since I'm in San Marcos, I'm probably going to try and search up Burlington and TJ Maxx near maybe. Um, I low-key wanted to go to Ross, but I was just here a couple days ago. So I think I'm going to just try the Ross and San Marcos. Okay guys, per I just got to Hobby Lobby. The main thing I really want from here is cuticle oil, yes. I'm not cuticle oil, essential oils. Okay, but yeah, I'm just gonna look around, but the main thing I'm interested in is some essential oil and Walmart is literally right around the corner. I totally forgot what I said I wanted to go to Walmart for, but I know that I've been trying to look for some teeth whitener stuff, and I know that they should have, like, some good facial stuff there for me to look around at, so I might go there to spare some time, and then um, I'm still going to search up Burlington, probably, and go to Ulta. I don't know how I'm feeling about my makeup now. Like, I feel like since it's and stuff so i'm in the cake part and they have some cute stuff over here nothing that i see that i need y'all i'm getting such a great mom and a wife like i just know it they're gonna be sick of me i'm gonna be cooking and baking for no reason Okay, I finally found the section, y'all. And look, I also like using these because I feel like they're like also more healthier since they're made for like soaps. But yeah, I have so many to pick from. I usually get like bubble gum. I got banana berry to try it and I didn't like it. I've had cherry fruit punch before and that one was good. So I think I'm gonna get watermelon. Okay, per. so I'm in Walmart now, just looking to see if there's like some teeth whitening stuff. Okay guys, somehow I ended up in the yarn section, and I don't know, I'm low-key thinking it'd be the only thing I can think of, the only thing I really like making are little blankets for Hazel, but um... People have been making those like squish mellow things. But oh, that just reminds me, I need to go to Five Below, which is good because I'm pretty sure Ulta is right next to it. Um, but yeah, literally the only things I got out of here was red and black paint. Okay, guys, so all I got from Walmart was those two paints. I'm about to go to Ulta. And then, actually, I feel like I should go to Five Below first and then Ulta. That way I know Ulta is my last place to go. And then I can go home. Okay, guys. I'm at Five Below. Oh, that's cool how when they sell out of a shirt, they take it off. But, ooh, they have a makeup section here. But Ulta is right next door, y'all. So I'm not going to risk it. But I came here to... Oh, my God. I was just about to say the name. And it's here.
super cute. Blue one the other day, and they have a white one. Alright, so I've seen this perfume on Instagram, and I'm hoping. Yes. It's okay, but they have my old smell I used to get, the Kimberly Sweet Keep, so I might fall. Let me see if I'm still. Oh. Yeah, I don't really like the pineapple one. I feel like the peach one is better. And I like that it's like a bit travel size. Okay, guys, the more I kept looking, I found a way cuter little dog toy. Now I feel like she actually has like choices to choose from. Um, but it's a rainbow compared to the frog one. It looks way better. And then I just got me the peach perfume. But I'm about to part closer to Ulta because it's hot as fuck. Okay, so usually I get so mad when people try to help me. This is why I hate going to makeup stores. Like, I just feel irritated in a way. Um, but I'm basically looking for a good setting spray. And on top of that... I like how I forgot, but I'm mainly looking for a good setting spray, and then I might buy some more concealer, especially now that I know, like, what shade I'm in. Um, and, yeah, and maybe a highlighter. Oh, and maybe, like, an eyebrow thing that's smudge-free, but, yeah, I'm just gonna really be looking around. Um, so, yeah. Y'all, I'm literally so mad at myself because why did I let me spend $137 in Ulta? Like, I at least was like, okay, yeah, this is gonna be like $90 the most, but $137? Okay, guys, I just got to Dollar General. Okay, so I know I said I was gonna go to uh, HEB to get some sushi, but I called my grandma and I was like, hey, so is someone cooking? And they said they making dinner, so I'm not about to waste 20 bucks on no sushi. So I get to use that money here instead for a few snacks and some sodas. I really need to stop with sodas. I think I'm gonna test out some other stuff, y'all, and use my scanner. I'm gonna try some sparkling waters and see if they kind of taste the same. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Ulta Beauty, a little Ulta Beauty haul, because I'm not about to put everything at the end, because, come on now. Okay, so the first thing I got are these brushes. That way these can be like my everyday brushes. Also it came with a beauty blender and I needed another one. And I just wanted, I know for a fact that the Real Techniques is a really good brush because I only have one brush from them and I use that for my concealer because it's that good. So I'm probably gonna use this smaller brush for concealer. Um, but I don't know because I got this one too and I already have a nose contour brush so I might use these two for concealers I don't really know um, and then I, I got me a pressed powder um, I use loose powder but I get my brush and I roll it in so I feel like if I get my brush um, and put it in and then set my concealer in it's gonna work as well so I'm gonna try like you know I'm gonna switch it up try a new try a new little thing out I actually had talked to the makeup workers and they were so nice. I was asking them questions about, you know, good products that last longer. And um, I asked one of them about the brows and they showed me this waterproof ink stain. Um, she said she didn't like this one because it has like a eyeliner end, but I feel like that'd be perfect to make eyebrow hairs. And then also I'm planning on using the other part for a lip liner anyway for a little two-in-one. So I don't really care. I thought it was like really beneficial. And this little thing this was 20 bucks y'all like uh this is exactly why my shit came up to 139 and the next thing i got is some setting spray y'all because yes i really needed a good setting spray and this is the um small one i didn't get the big one also because i want to try it alcohol free long lasting spray okay and yeah it says it's a stay overnight or whatever this is from mac and yes, I'm excited to try this out. I think I'm, I don't know when, but I need to like do a full face of makeup and test these products out and make sure this is legit. Cause my cheap regular makeup without primer and all that be doing good sometimes. 
but I literally just did that from sweating I don't know if I had primer and setting spray if it would have made it like not disappear like that but I don't know and then I'm gonna stick to the concealer I always use because it's been doing really good so I got the elf concealer this one is a medium beige which is a shade lighter um, or no it's like two shades lighter than what I normally go for and then I got another one in the shade that's my shade now. This is what I'm wearing right now, um, just with nothing else. So I got like another light one just to mix them and make like a cute one. And then one of the girls told me about this one. It's a 12 hour shine control. Um, it's a base for your makeup, um, cause her. So yeah, now um, I can put this on before I put my makeup on and then I have the setting spray. And then the last thing I got from there was this Hello Kitty Lip Smacker because, yes ma'am, y'all know I had to get the Hello Kitty stuff. But I'm actually about to go try the Hello Kitty now on my lips. Let's see, let's see. This is so cute. Ooh, I did not expect it to smell that good, to be honest. Let me see. It doesn't taste good but it smells good I don't like how it comes out like you don't get a lot of product I'm gonna end up taking this thing off probably okay it was only like five something but Alright, that's the stuff I got from Ulta, and then I don't know if I showed you, but when I had went to Hobby Lobby, all I got were these. I just opened them, and honestly, the apple's not that bad. The watermelon's super light, so I'm definitely going to mix these together to make one, um, and then, yeah, and then from five and below, I got my dog another toy. It's a cute rainbow. And then I got me some of this Kimberly, this Kimberly Peach perfume, which I used to be obsessed with in high school, but they stopped selling it like at the store where I used to get it from, but I didn't know it at Five Below sold them. And at the time, even when I had one to Five Below, sometimes they would be out. Um, so yeah. Okay, I'm feeling the lip gloss. I like how I can like kind of smell it. I'm done. And I just can't wait to go home and take a shower and eat these snacks I bought. Oh, that scared me. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I got from there when I get home. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. I'm good. She's only worried about who's about to come in. Okay, so I'm going to take this stuff upstairs and then I have to go back to my car to get the rest of this stuff. Okay, y'all. The shoes I was wearing were so uncomfortable. But let me show you what I got. Um, I got this drink. I just noticed I totally forgot to use my phone scanner to see if these were even good. Um, but I got this. I don't even know what this is. It just looked healthy. And then I got another one of those, but in a different flavor. Um, this one's like pineapple mango. So, yeah. And then I just got me two acetones for, you know, my nail desk over there. Um, I got me some pineapple soda. I got me some wavy original chips. And then I got me some hot Funyuns. And I also had got me um, this for my, this is French onion dip for my wavy chips, which I think after I shower, I'm actually probably going to go and eat that because I have the rest of the day to myself, which it feels weird because I usually feel like I always have nails at 730. And then I'm going to put my makeup bag on the door. I'm not ready to mess with that yet. And yeah, new perfume to the collection. In my hygiene closet. And my perfumes are like right there. You can push them back. 
yeah. Right, Don't y'all hate when y'all come back to all y'all makeup, spread it out on the counter? But it's okay. I'm going to clean this up and then I'm going to get um, the stuff out ready for my bath. I mean, my shower. A billion dollars on an elevator. Ooh. God damn, God damn, God damn. Mama taught me good home training, but daddy taught me how to love my haters. But sister told me I should speak my mind. My man let me feel so good. Okay guys, so I cleaned off my counter and I just have the stuff out that I'm going to be using for my shower. The first thing I'm going to do is actually, oh my god, the first thing I'm going to do is make some TikToks and then I'm going to wipe this gorgeous makeup off. Um, and I'm going to be using this Miracle stuff and I, I still forgot to use my skin or skin and drinks, but I'm going to use this and then whatever left, I'm going to use this. And then after that, I'm going to be using this scrub just because I've had this makeup on um, all day. And also because I haven't really scrubbed my face in a while. So you guys need to see that. And then I just had my lip gloss next to it. And then because once I do that, I'm getting in the shower. And then for after the shower, because you guys probably aren't going to really see that, um, to moisturize my whole body to make my body soft, I have virgin coconut oil. And then... Um, just to make me smell good, um, I have my Pink Pineapple Sunrise Body Cream Lotion. And then for my deodorant, um, I have this cucumber. Um, this is a travel size, but I have the big one right now. And then I have a big one of the mango, but I keep using that, so I'm just switching it up. And then for my perfume, I'm using Pink Pineapple um, Sunrise, which matches with the lotion. And then just to be extra, I'm using this Diamond Shimmer Champagne Toast um, gl Glitter Perfume. And then I'm going to be using the new one I just got today, the Kimberly Sweet Peach, just to add some extra scent. And then these are my clothes for when I get out. I just got some sweatpants, a tank top, some socks, and my bonnet, which I'm actually about to put on now um, when I start washing my face. I got the Blackhead Clearing Scrub. Um, I'm supposed to do this three to four times a week, so I don't be doing it three to four times a week. But it's supposed to be like a part of your like skincare. Like it's not like a once a week scrub, which I kind of do it once a week anyway, just because like I wasn't wearing makeup. But now that I'm gonna start wearing makeup again, I'm definitely gonna probably start doing it like every other day all it says is to scrub your face and rinse it but i'm gonna rinse it when i get out the shower um so yeah okay guys so i just got out i'm not lying <laughs> but as you can see everything well it seems going away i kind of just opened the door because i had to go and grab me another washcloth um so i can rinse this off but pretty much i'm gonna be using hot water to take this off and then i'm gonna put coconut oil around my nose just because that's literally like the only dry part of my face and i'm trying to dry out those pimples up there so i'm not gonna put no coconut oil on them but yeah <laughs> Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm glistening. Y'all see the sparkles? That's from the perfume. I put some coconut oil on my nose and just a little bit around my eyes to kind of brighten it, I guess. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm about to go get my chips and my dip that I just bought. And I'm literally about to just relax and be watching TV. So that's literally pretty much it for the video, y'all. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like these type of videos, let me know so I can continue to make more videos like this. And yeah, bye.